so good afternoon guys so last lecture we were discussing on thick cylinder and its derivation right we found out the derivation and that means the value of sigma r sigma theta sigma z for plane stress as well as plane strain case as follows right do you remember this hope you'll be knowing these things or just check out my late last video and find these values out okay now with the help of these values we are going to solve problems on thick cylinders okay so thick cylinders that to mainly hollow cylinders we will be dealing with hollow cylinders were pa is the internal pressure exerted on a cylinder and pb is the external pressure and b is the external radius a is the internal radius and okay and theta sigma theta you know tangential stress and all these things i have discussed it sigma z is uh, stress along z direction nu is poisson's ratio e is young's modulus okay so u r is nothing but a displacement okay it can be along a or b a or b means along inlet radius or outlet radius okay so if okay i'll explain it when doing the problem okay so our first question is a thick cylinder of internal diameter 160 mm is subjected to an internal pressure of 40 newton per mm square fallible stress in the material is 120 newton per mm square find the thickness required okay fine you have another hollow cylinder or uh, a thick cylinder of internal diameter is 160 mm so its radius will be 80 mm okay subject to an internal pressure so there is no external pressure given so internal pressure is given as pa and pa is 40 newton per mm square okay if allowable shear stress sorry if allowable stress in the material so allowable stress what do you mean by allowable stress the maximum extent at which the, that cylinder can retain its original shape okay so that is a maximum stress so in the last lecture itself we learned about the maximum stress will be along its uh, theta direction so sigma theta max we have derived an equation okay and that sigma theta max is given as 120 newton per mm square now find the thickness required okay so i have given the data we need to find the thickness t okay this thickness t we, we need to find out okay we know a but we don't know b okay so we need to find out the outside radius b then b minus a will give you the thickness okay the internal pressure is given is the maximum stress okay these all things we have now sigma theta max we have already derived from last uh, derivation for special cases like uh, for only for internal pressure sigma theta max will be pa by b square minus a square into a square plus b, b square sigma th theta max is given pa is also given so from that equation we will get b write down these steps and you will get b as 113.137 mm so thickness is b minus a okay this is a very simple problem the only thing you need to know is that sigma theta max first of all you do one thing you write all these equations these are the main equations that, that are needed okay together with this see this sigma theta max is nothing but you will be uh, neglecting this Uh, pb okay already we have given that okay fine and we will be giving value for r is equal to a that's all that is sigma theta max okay fine now next question is a thick wall tube again it's a thin thin cylinder thick cylinder with internal radius of 12 cm internal radius means a 12 cm is subjected to internal pressure of 200 megapascal what is megapascal you need to convert it to newton per mm square 
वन मेगा पास्कल इज इक्वल टू वन न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर सो टू हंड्रेड न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर ओके इज टू टू पॉइंट वन इंटू टेन पर फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर न्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री डिटरमाइन ऑप्टिमम वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सटर्नल रेडियस सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट दी वैल्यू ऑफ एक्सटर्नल रेडियस दैट इज बी इफ मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस इज लिमिटेड टू थ्री फिफ्टी मेगा पास्कल और थ्री फिफ्टी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर मैक्सिमम शेयर स्ट्रेस we have a formula to find maximum shear stress that is sigma theta minus sigma r by 2 that means maximum stress minus minimum stress by 2 that we have been uh, uh, going through this maximum shear stress and all from uh, moise itself so here it's sigma theta minus sigma r by 2 okay but here we need to find out one more thing Also determine change in internal radius due to pressure. Okay, we need to find out the change in internal radius. That means the displacement. That means due to this pressure, internal pressure, there will be internal pressure on the on the cylinder. Okay, so due to that pressure, there will be some change. That means displacement will be there. That means U R, not U R actually U A here. U A you can find out from A R plus B by R where A is this thing and B is this thing. This is not U R here. Here we need to find out the internal displacement, right? So U A instead of R you need to substitute A. Okay, fine, fine. Now to find external radius B we need to find out change in internal radius or displacement at inner radius that is U A where A is the Inner radius. Okay, tau max. I already have told you sigma theta minus sigma r by two is equal to P A B square by B square minus A square. Just you need to do sigma theta. Don't mug up this formula. It's better to do this sigma theta this term minus this term where P B is zero because here you have only in ex uh, internal pressure, right? So you cancel the Uh, P B term. Okay, then you will get this term. That's all. Okay, right. Okay, and uh, instead of see, instead of R, you substitute. This is internal, right? So A. You need to substitute A here. That's all. Okay, then you will get this equation, and you will get to know the value of B, which is equal to one eighty three point three zero mm. And now next is you need to find out U A. That means displacement in the inner radius. Okay, this also please don't mug up the formula. It's better to derive it from here. U R. Just you study all these one, two, three, four, five, six equations. Then you can accordingly you can derive all these things. Okay, U R is A R plus B by R. Okay, I told you U R is A R plus B by R. We just need to substitute the equation. See, A value is one minus nu by E into P A into A square minus P B B square by B square minus A square. You just substitute these values and for B. Okay, so actually we need to find U A, right? That means the internal displacement only we need to find. Okay, so for internal displacement there will not be any pressure at the outside right and instead of r you need to give the value of a that mean internal radius okay so substituting these values just you just substitute it so you can take out common pa into a by e you can also take b square minus a square but for for the derivation purpose i am not doing that b square minus a square remain here itself so rest of the term will come like this in the as as in the bracket so a p a by e into we'll expand this thing okay now we'll take out the values a square plus b square plus nu is taken as common into b square minus a square so after this step you are again what are you doing you will again A square plus b square by you you are dividing it 
okay by b square plus nu into b square minus a square by b square minus a square you will get this equation you can note down this equation but uh, i will suggest not to mug up this thing because you can easily derive it from just giving the values of all these things if you know the concept okay so u a inner radius similarly if you need to find out the outside displacement means here p a will be 0 and r will be equal to b similarly you can find this thing okay so u a is given like this and you all you all know these values and all okay all are given you will get the value as 0.32 mm okay so this is the simple problems okay the second step second problem you need to find this u a and all you need to know this this is not a derivation just substitution that's all okay thank you if you have any doubt please call me or message me okay thank you